How y'all doing out there? This is Pete over at DIY Auto School and we got a special treat today. Now what I got here, I got my 2020 Razor um, Pro XP Ultimate. Uh, it's basically the top of the line. It's the turbocharged job. It runs great. It's an awesome machine. But the thing is, I want a trailer hitch on it. Now if you look real close down here, you're going to see that I got the bumpers on both front and back of my vehicle and where a trailer hitch would be installed on the Razor XP Ultimate or possibly the Pro XP you don't have to have an Ultimate alright this is a 2020 so this would apply to 19, 20, 21 up um, is if we look behind our rear Nerf bar bumper guard we can see in this area right here where my hand is and you can't see it but you're going to see it pretty soon is where our receiver is going to hook up. Now I found a company out there that manufactures a hitch receiver for the Pro XP or the Ultimate, whichever one you have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install that hitch receiver onto your vehicle, but not just install it. I'm going to show you how to modify it so when you have this rear bumper section, this rear cage, on your vehicle you can see I got the nerf bars on the side I got the rock sliders I got the the rear cage and 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 if I put that receiver in there you can see it's not going to work basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install this on the vehicle and make it work with the rear bumper cage installed So before we go any further, I want to go ahead and show you the system that I purchased. Um, a matter of fact, this was the only hitch receiver, bolt-on hitch receiver, that's specifically designed for this model Polaris Razor. And it comes from a company called Super ATV. And they want to make it very clear and loud that that's where this was from because they actually have a metal tag that is pop riveted onto the receiver hitch. I've never seen that before. Um, that, that type of hardcore advertising, but I guess, you know, that's the situation we have if you want to get known. So this is a receiver hitch that's designed for our Pro XP, and what we're going to do is we're going to install that onto the vehicle, and then I'm going to show you how to modify it to work with your uh, roll cage, your rear roll cage, bumper, whatever you want to call this, your Nerf bar uh, system, and use it properly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the rear bumper off of the vehicle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this plastic cover right here that is covering the suspension and of course the muffler on the vehicle. to this area right here and this is where our hitch receiver will be installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the vehicle up to get all of the pressure 
off of the suspension. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this plate out of the vehicle. Fuck me, bitch. Uh, to get this thing off isn't the easiest thing in the world. Um, it's got nuts behind there that you have to remove. Uh, there's no way to get a wrench inside here to hold it. Uh, wow, is all I can say. Yeah. We'll get it off. Don't worry. All right, we went ahead and removed our bracket. And the trick to doing that is actually removing the tires and the wheels. Once you remove the tires and the wheels, um, it comes out very easily. So we got a bracket right here, all right? But then on the other hand, we got our trailer hitch receiver, which is a two inch right here. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here, and it looks like it fits just right. One thing about this, it doesn't come with any directions, basically figure it out. So if maybe you come over here, what I'm going to do is we got the bolts and the nuts that come with our kit, and we will go ahead and slide these in here, just like this. And the reason they give you nuts and bolts is because you are actually adding a thicker piece of metal to it to get it all working. So, uh, why me, you want to slide these in there? Why I? Or do you want me to? Okay, this one here has to come up here like that. Now you're going to have to lift up on that brake drum there. If you, let me get all these started in here. Hang on a sec. Okay, go ahead and we'll lift it up. So while Minnie's lifting up on that, I'm going to go ahead and there's one right there and there's the other one. Now if you can take a bolt and kind of start it on the back side of that, just start it on there. So we're putting the nuts and the bolts back on with our hitch receiver installed. So it's a little bit difficult getting it back on due to the bottom bolts are very, very uh, it's a very tight squeeze. Okay, can you turn it? So if you can see it's... I'm on it, if you could turn it. Okay, that one started, so now we got to get the other side. There's that one. Yeah, I did. It's just hard. There it is. So you kind of see the situation I'm putting this thing on. It's a very tight squeeze, and it takes a small hand. Not a big paw like that. There it is right there. Oh shit! Oh, you have it on there. It's too far back. Hell, that went under the engine. Let me go get my magnet. I don't know who designed that, but they sure to put a, uh, one of those. No, they should put one of those um, nuts that are welded on. Got it. So we 
got to take the whole cover off the bottom of this thing to fucking get the screw it up. Just fucking great. Motherfucker. We'll be back. Is. Man, it's hard to... Ah, shit, I just had it. It's a touch and feel. There it is. Do not the nut. Do not drop And look what just happened to my snap on socket. We just cracked it. So hopefully, we'll get a uh, lifetime guarantee on that. When I track down the snap on man. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, exactly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on this. We're gonna get the rear bumper over here, if many can look at that. We're gonna get that back on the vehicle. And then I'm gonna show you, the viewer, how to modify this receiver when you're using that bumper. Okay, that wasn't good action, but that's okay. They got the message. Let me get this all done. We got our receiver on. Um, is it a good receiver? I'm not here to review the receiver. I just showed you where you can purchase it. They aren't paying me to show you this item. This is not a paid preview. Okay, I was just letting everybody know that there is one made, but if you use that over there, camera girl. Sorry, I was looking at the minutes. Okay, can you hold it back over there so I can talk about it? If you're going to use that, they will tell you that they don't have a hitch receiver designed for that. I'm going to show you how to modify that so the hitch receiver will work. Let me get that back on the vehicle temporarily, and we'll go from there. All right, we have our bumper installed back onto the vehicle. The only thing we did is we just put the two top bolts in. Um, the bottom is loose. It's kind of hanging here because it won't go up under the suspension where it's supposed to go yet. Um, you can kind of figure out what we're going to do here now. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed with what I'm going to do. Because when I called the company on this, I said, do you, will that receiver work if I have the Polaris rear bumper? And she said, no, it will not. It will not work. Do not attempt to use it. Um, if you attempt to use that and, and you purchase the item, there's no refunds. So I said, okay, thank you very much for basically nothing, and I will take it from here. So what I'm going to do is I got some tape in my hand, and the reason I'm using tape is I'm going to show you. You'll be able to see uh, what's going on a little bit better. And what we will do is get a piece of tape that won't stick to each other. That's important, because when the tape sticks to itself, it's highly unlikely that it'll come apart. So I'm looking in the hole right here, and I see that the receiver will actually fit in this area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right here. I'm going to cut that section out of the bumper. And then we'll bring this one up just a little higher so we can square it off. So... And I'm putting this tape on here so you can see what I'm doing um, once again. And what we're doing here for everybody that's just joined in, we are modifying the Super ATV uh, hitch receiver, the 2-inch hitch receiver that is made specifically for this vehicle only. We're making it, we're modifying our rear bumper so we can use this. And I'm going to go ahead and use my electric cutoff wheel. This is a four inch cutoff, and we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear my safety glasses, and I'm also going to wear ear protection.
right, so what we've done, we have actually cut an access hole out in our bumper for our receiver to work. And if you look right here, you can see what I was talking about. I wasn't able to get the, uh, the rear bumper up under the suspension into the hole where it was at because the hitch receiver was blocking my angle of doing that. So I'll go ahead and remove the bumper off. I will put it back on and then we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, what you're looking at is basically almost the finished product. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clean these edges up where I cut everything off. And then I will probably take this off and repaint it um, before I install it back on. But what I did is I test fit this on. And you can see where our receiver is fitting really, really nice. And we can reach behind here. Here's our pin right here. We can come back here, put our pin on, and lock it down, and we're all ready to go. I want to be able to carry my bicycle rack so my wife, Minnie the Body Shop Girl, can drive me up on the top of the mountains and then I will take my bike off and I will ride down and she will ride this down, drive this down while I ride my bicycle down. Okay, we're all done putting the hitch receiver on and we went ahead and chopped down the extension. We're not going to use that right now. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I was actually going to weld it on to the existing hitch, but I didn't have to. And you can see right here this is the situation we have. I already marked it where I need to drill the hole. So if I want to extend my hitch out, I got this to do it with. But as of right now, we don't need to do that. So we're not going to use this. Let's take a look at the situation and see what we got. And hopefully the solution that I'm looking for has been cured. So there you go right there. I got my bike rack installed. My bike is on the rack. And the rack is inside our hitch. We went ahead and did a little bit more trimming on our uh, rear bumper and it really came out nice. It fit in there perfect. And you can also see behind the bumper that we went ahead and put the plastic cover back on to the vehicle to finish it out and make it look all professional. So if you are looking for a receiver hitch for your uh, Polaris Razor, um, what has this uh, Pro XP, there you go. Whether it's the Ultimate or just the Pro XP, this is your solution right here. I think I paid 100 bucks for that thing. Worked out well. And I also showed you a double whammy of installing it with the rear Polaris bumper on the vehicle. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I'm getting up bright and early. I'm going to have many of the body shop girl take me up to the top of LaSalle Mountains. And then I'm going to haul ass down as fast as I can without wrecking. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And the lesson that is learned is don't tell, don't let anybody tell you that it's impossible and it doesn't work because it does. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, going mountain bike in the morning and going to have a blast. I figured it out. I did it. It's a done deal. It's done. Done right. Doing it right. Doing it right. Doing it right. Because if you're not doing it right, you aren't doing it at all.